the formidable robot. Things were starting to get into a frenzy. Every single company in the media market is scrambling to pick up the spin-off after Sci-Fi dropped Robotronical in the last episode they made, Hang Time for No Heroes, said to be one of the worst examples of intentional clickbait episodes. It was so bad. It was named number 10 at the top 30 worst episodes of any cartoon series ever. It was now, 2024. Tales from Robotronical aired the episode, Hang Time for No Heroes, directed by Jerry Penn and Patrick Tyson. With the special guest stars being the original Robotronical heroes, as statues. Accordingly, the original Robotronical voices were corrupted due to the original computers being stolen by ex-animator Alexander Shannon. The episode was recovered from a suitcase in the New York leaks in the form of a USB drive named, 102110. The episode started with the three approaching New Haven. A city outside of Robotronical, in the front was the three statues. Are you kidding me? We hyped up with promotions and teasers and we would have the originals come, and this is what we got. PC said, sounding disbelieved and offended. A neat little jab at the clickbaiting promotional material and unnecessary hype and most people quoted that single line. The three approached the city and went up to a chief. Captain J.R.L., Jason Rodney Longfried. J.R.L.'s voice was a robotic captain voice, the same voice you'd hear in a military. Bounty Hunters. J.R.L. started. The three saluted. You were called to explore the remains of Robotronical after the recent uprising. What's the status? J.R.L. said, leaning back in his chair. So, we've discovered some elements of the planet are under attack, and that the Robotronical National Graveyard Undertaker Base were closed back in 3165 after the three original heroes found it. It's been noted that there's a virus. PC said, showing a folder containing evidence and the video playback he had. PC, you, C12, and T999 have done an excellent job. But, there's something fishy about this. Someone's pulling the strings under the base. I'm giving you three the task of investigating closer at the far reaches of the galaxies. Look really deep, boys. JRL said, showing a map. I think we should start at planet CD 456, planet Lagrin. C12 said, pointing at the red and black planet. You'll both need access because it's under restrictive care and motives. That's why I'm giving you three of these identification thumb drives to use, so that you've been given access to enter that specific planet. Now go, and I'll pay you triple. JRL stated, as the three thanked him and went to the ship. Next stop, Necron. But just as the ship was turning on, the ship made a weird eerie squeal. A loud ear wrenching series of sputters and clicks and then the ship spun. The ship started spinning as three screams were heard. C-12 screamed, grabbing the ship's steering wheel to pull up. It pulled up but the ship crashed on a gray planet. As soon as the ship came to an abrupt stop, it made another eerie squeal before the ship stopped near a cliff. Well that stinks. T-999 started, getting up. I think I broke a few robotic bones in my wrists. C-12 added. And I think I twisted my neck to rough. PC added. The three got up and came over by the side. Big mistake. The ship suddenly creeped and dropped. The three screamed no in unison as the ship crashed. Damn it. T-999 said sternly. Well, you want our ship? Let me try and contact JRL. C-12 said, pulling out an electric phone and called JRL. Captain, this is C-12. C-12 said sternly. C-12 to base. Status report. JRL said firmly. Our ship crashed just as we got out. We will need a mandatory ship replacement or a complimentary ship transfer. PC said. There was a pause. I'll send an emergency ship personnel to recover the ship. Have it totaled. I'll cover the price and send in a complimentary ship. JRL said firmly. Over and out. T-999 said as the three sat down on a rock. About an hour later, two guys came in with a ship. 
that's when heavy footsteps were heard. It showed the group holding their hands up, being taken into another ship, and taken into another galaxy named, XZ-134, Planet Joyous. To be continued was shown as the ship parked near a factory-looking planet. The latest news was that a Robotronical game was announced back in 2014. Robotronical Nexus was a cancelled video game created by Minotaur Games, Sci-Fi Games and Volition Incorporated. It was planned as a throwback to Contra with a Robotronical twist. The game featured multiple characters with pixelated robotic voices and an adaptive story with multiple endings. The game was planned to release on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, but the concept was scrapped and later cancelled after Minotaur Games shut down due to bankruptcy, causing production to halt, be shelved and then cancelled. To this day, no screenshots or trailers were leaked for the game. What about the episode? It was said that after airing, the episode was put onto one of the DVDs, as a compilation DVD called Enter the Techniverse, which combined Season 1's episodes, the original series Robotronical, and added two of the newer spin-off episodes. The full DVD was uploaded onto the Internet Archive before being deleted for copyright reasons. Another piece of media lost in the sands of time, you might say, 